Friday, November 10th. Mm -hmm. It's in Blackstock at Souls Path mm -hmm. Richard Center. So, Lori, we're going to be playing with the game that helped you in your reinvention and transformation. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's it's a it, it, call it a game, but it really it's a soul care practice. It's a practice to connect with your soul, connect with who you truly are, discover that you're listen, learn to listen to your wisdom of your innate uh, true essence and um, take inspired actions from that place. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Thanks. So we just call it a game. So your ego kind of like take a step back. <laughs> And yeah. let you play. Yeah. And who doesn't need more play in our life, their life? I think almost everybody does. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start recording edit out until we're ready there. Oh my. Releasing some stray hairs. Um, I'm always doing that. <laughs> well, isn't it this it's just like I don't understand how I have so much hair to lose and yet I have so much hair. Yeah. How do you I, do so much and then it like it can't grow like it has taken me years how did it possibly I don't understand that either and I used to be a hairdresser so can't tell you <laughs> it's magical hair is magical I think we maybe notice it more because it's longer and maybe shorter hair still does that but we maybe not notice it or see it because it's shorter that's a speculation I don't know wow when were you a hairdresser uh, when I was 18 till, I don't know, but I stopped doing it around 26 and I went back to school, did medical office administration and I started working in the hospital. <laughs> How was that? Actually, I really liked it. I worked at Sick Children's Hospital, so um, it it was very, you know, it kept me grounded and grateful for my children's health and and uh, I learned a lot. I connected with a lot of really um, people that really cared. You know, the doctors and the nurses, they did really care. And I, I saw a lot of parents, you know, just completely dedicating their entire life to their child with neurological um, challenges. And, and, uh, and it also, you know, got my daughter some testing that she needed to help her to get the specialized support and in turn you know she's been able to really you know do well and not succumb to her um different style of learning we'll call it oh so, okay. so it, it it I really did like it um I didn't like going downtown every day I don't know if I'd want to be there now I, I know I know I shouldn't say I don't know I do know I would not want to be there now but at the time it was it was really good and and I felt like I was making a difference and helping people and um yeah so it was good uh I I, I also got to see that you know I, I get that the whole all the systems are not always for our best but I know that there's a lot of people in the systems that are you know really doing their best and doing good work and is the to the best that they can mm -hmm. And they're helping families and, you know, that's important. So it was very um, humbling to work there. Yeah. But then I had to uh, make a choice between my, my family and my children growing up uh, without a parent at home or not. And I decided to leave and work close to home so that I could be there for my kids, mm. which I think made a huge difference. Yeah. How yeah, because that's not what I had. My, I had a single mom and, you know, she was always working and we were on our own. And, and uh, you know, you want to be able to influence your children in positive ways when they're uh, still influenceable. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> once they get to a certain age, you know, they don't necessarily want to listen to their parents. So, you know, just being around and being there and driving them to school and this and that and, you know, and 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 establishing a healthy confidential relationship it was it was important and it you know definitely made a difference I think in their throwing my hair shetty hair to two <laughs> in my in their life so my children are adults now so I had kids really young I was like only barely not even 21 22 when I had my first wow. yeah so my son is 31 and my daughter's 29 wow yeah. <laughs> okay. cool I know right wow it's weird. 
it's strange yeah it's strange and I look back I'm like yeah but yeah yeah so you know just realizing over time that I didn't want to work for others and I wanted to work for myself and do what I really felt was important and meaningful like you know it was meaningful to work at the hospital and I was helping but that was in a different kind of role and now I'm more in a leadership role um rather than like a behind the scenes role so that was part of my evolution that I shared with you yesterday of who I used to be and who I am now and all you know yeah Yay. And now you have your own game that we're going to be playing on. Well, I am so looking forward to getting to experience your game at the retreat round table experience. It's a mix of private and public activities. So Mm -hmm. I'm in the process of getting the advertisement for it and the registration of $88 will cover your food. It'll cover the round table invitation where there's going to be world-class cake by Vivian McClintock, who's coming from this way in order to be there with us live. So I've got some of the coolest people that I know coming in for this experience in a secret underground location where we're going to be our authentic selves in a round room which will be the equivalent to the round table that I thought we needed to have in between us to put all of the best ideas of the values and virtues of society on the table. And now I see it's just the room generally that we need to get into that's going to allow us to really see who is who and connect to build something better than we could on our own which is why Mm -hmm. I have incorporated Bill Lishman's Father Goose book into this experience because I narrated it earlier this year. And Mm -hmm. Bill is an amazing character I never got to meet, but I've got to know his family over the last year well. And I can tell you that it is a really unique and valuable experience getting to meet people that have literally got to help fly with geese or to actually do it, to be part of the crew that led others on an adventure that excited and delighted the inner child in them, which is exactly what we're recreating now in Mm -hmm. a different way because Bill led the geese on an outward journey and we together under the banner of Peaceful Inner Warriors United are going to journey inward. And I bring in the banner because I want to start talking about corporations and shell companies and the ways that the logos of the logos are actually shaping our identities that invite entities in to feast off of us because we give it our power and then believe ourselves to be David facing off with Goliath. Sounds awesome. Yeah, sounds great. I'm excited to be part of it. Yeah, well, I am so grateful, Lori, that you said yes to sharing your tool which Mm -hmm. is what it really is, on November 10th for a public event from 7 till 9 at Souls Path Retreat Center. So come on out. We're going to do intentional networking. So we're going to get to connect with people and to also recognize the nature of belief systems, which is the new definition behind the word BS. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 